Fremont Police Department, what is your emergency? I just walked into the hallway and there's blood everywhere and I found my coworker Neelan's wallet on the ground. I don't know what's going on. Ma'am, where are you located at? I'm at Kanyama Sushi Restaurant in Fremont. What is your name? Marissa Chin. Can you hurry up and send someone here, please? We have units five minutes away and we're dispatching it to you right now. My name is Neil Miranda, and I'm a server over here at King Yama. About a year ago, a girl committed suicide back in September 2010, and supposedly she's haunting the place. And I'm actually about to go interview the employees, and I'm actually going to spend a night alone here as well. I don't really believe in ghosts, but I have experience. You know, I cut the fish in the morning, but suddenly, when I cut it and I smell it, it turns sour right away. I can't really explain why, but sometimes it seems not right at the restaurant. So I had an experience one time. I was walking in, in the hallway and I feel somebody tap my shoulder, but when I turn, there's nobody there. Something wrong really happened in this first restaurant. I don't know what, but seriously, this is really wrong. So the night that it happened, I was actually the server and when I took the order, the guy was a total dick. He waved me off, so I left. It seemed like they were in the middle of a bad breakup. And the girl, she just got up out of nowhere. She was really hysterical. She ran to the bathroom. And 20 minutes later, I decided to go check on her, see if she was okay. And on the floor in the handicapped bathroom. It was the most fucked up thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, what I saw in there was something I would expect to see in a horror movie, but it was actually in real life in the bathroom of my work that I've been working at for three years now. I've never expected any of this to happen. I'm just, I'm still shocked over it. So I was serving this table out of nowhere, the girlfriend started flipping out. And seriously, out of nowhere, she smacked him across the face and just walked out. Later that night, I guess, she committed suicide. It seriously is the creepiest thing that happened in my life. So now I'm gonna steal the keys from Kenyama. I'm gonna find out if this shit's real. So here I go. So it looks like I have the keys, they're just sitting right over here. Hey, and I'm a so. Alright you guys, I just broke into Kenyama. Hopefully the manager's not in here, but turn on night vision so you guys can see everything that I can see. But do you guys hear that? It's only that's coming from the bar. See that? Need to get the fuck out of here. Do you see that? All shit's missing. Holy fuck, I need to get the fuck out of here.